stays. If I touch a dog, do I have to change my clothes before performing the prayer? Uh, I believe there's some confusion here because the pot should be washed due to being contaminated with the saliva or the witness of the dog is only the part which has been touched. يعني النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم said in the sound hadith إذا ولغ الكلب في إناء أحدكم فليغسله سبعة أولى هن بالتراب إن نظر حديث إحدى هن بالتراب The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said if the dog licks or drinks or eats from any of your utensils إناء a vessel a plate, a dish, a cooking pot, then he must wash it seven times. It is best to begin the first time with, with dirt, with a torab, the soil, then the remaining six times with water before you'll able to use it. And also he said, فَرْيُرِقْهُ If it had any uh, food or contained any water or liquids, it must be spilled. Then it should be washed seven times. That applies to one's body, hands, uh, or clothes. Keep in mind that touching a dog does not invalidate the wudu. Rather, it only causes a najasa. And the najasa or the impurity of the dog is the greatest. Is even greater than the pig or the swine. If you touch a pig, you don't have to do, uh, you, ha you don't have to wash yourself or wash your uh, uh, clothes seven times as in the case of the dog. It is very, very severe. So that applies to the clothes as well. The uh, impurity of the dog lies in the saliva, which is in the mouth and on the tongue. So if the dog's body was dry and he happened to touch you accidentally, then it is not required to wash your clothes. But if it was wet, most likely it is wet because the dog was licking himself. So the saliva, the source of contamination and impurity is all over the skin. So it must, or the fur, it must be washed seven times the first time with dirt before you're able to pray. And you don't have to wash the whole clothes, or the whole thawb. Rather, it's only the area which has been touched uh, by the dog or licked by the dog. Again, likewise with the body parts or the hands. Before being able to pray, it has to be uh, washed. Also, brothers and sisters, keep in mind that the Prophet Sallallahu said, whoever keeps a dog at his house other than a dog of security or cultivation or the dog of hunting it reduces from his reward every year a qirat and the word qirat has been mentioned in a couple more hadith such as that the person who prays the janazah will receive a reward equivalent to qirat like a mountain of good deeds that can be wasted simply if the person has a dog as a pet in his house each day it will remove away and reduce that much of good deeds because of keeping a dog at home.